Welcome to Scotiabank Arena, home of the Toronto Maple Leafs. But today it's the Toronto Marlies that hit the ice as they get ready for their family day game against the Binghamton Devils. Corey Schneider goes for the Binghamton Devils. Yeah, 33-year-old Corey Schneider. He won his game versus uh, the Hershey Bears on Friday night. And uh, he's a guy that has, uh, you know, fallen on hard times in the National Hockey League. He's 6 7 and 0 oh here in the East, in the American Hockey League. 900 save percentage and a 2.77. Kazmir Kaskasul has won a couple of games in, row, in a row, three wins in his last five. And he continues to put out some good numbers 2.73 and a 909 save percentage. For the Marlies and Ben Street on the other side and one back by Gadette and we are underway on family day as Garrett Wilson moves that back puts it onto the stick of Matt Reed and a blast right off the top they pick it up and back the other way smells or looks in shoots rings it off the iron and back out for Archibald he works back with Helen up and across the line Agostino moves it quickly tapped over by Dusak. Extra reach there. Dutak gets it back. Looks toward the goal and then lost it. His edge and a break back the other way from McLeod. Comes in on the forehand. Stopped by Kaskasul. What a save on McLeod as he just came back to the forehand on the shorthanded chance. Wow. Archibald hammers it in. Snyder able to get a piece of it and keep it. But now at the line, Kimmy Hallmay got it, but he couldn't get to it. Now breaking back the other way. Sidney comes in on the backhand. Good job by Kaskasul. Oh, Chris can't do anything with that. Decides to send it back up to the point. Far side gets it back right through him. Kaminsky to the goal. Rebound scores. Boquist picks it up and buries it past Kaskasul. And you could feel it coming as they had the Marlies running. And Aberg will gather it in, looking for Dusak at the blue line again. Turning, McMaster draws in, tips, score! Aberg! The open man on the far side ties it up at one apiece. From the middle of the ice to Tanner McMaster and a terrific heads up play as he looks over his right shoulder and he keeps the puck out to his left to keep the goaltender frozen in his spot. Here's Smoltz trying to make the difference. Back up for McMaster as he cuts in. Aberg off the boards. Back up front. Scores! Agostino with a great feed from Aberg as he tips it over the shoulder of Snyder and puts the Marlies up 2-1 inside the first minute of the second period. Back it comes across. Snyder in close. Shot stop. Great chance by the Devils, and they're trying to manufacture another. Well, an excellent chance by Mikhail Maltz. Uh, they have given goal themselves by the Devils, and a good save by Kaskasul. Back for a shot. High blistering out front, diving in after it, and it stays out. Devils. Efficient movement of the puck here. Trying to cut in. Look toward the side. Setting the shot. He scores. And the Toronto Marlies give up a power play goal to the Binghamton Devils. And that is a long streak broken for this penalty kill. Platters off the boards and back up the near side. They get it to the line. Shot, scores! That one beats the glove clean of Casimir Kaskasul and another power play goal has the Devils up 3-2 with a minute 42 left to play in the second period. Maltz brings it back up the boards. Aberg didn't get a piece of it. And it's back to it and back to five on five as Dusak steps out, cut off through the middle. And the shot on Kaskasul turned away. Zetterlin scores as it comes back out front. And the Devils, just after the power play expires, seconds later, put it by Kaskasul to make it 4-2. Studenich with the goal. Marley's trying to engineer a comeback against that team. To be holding. Down in the corner. Aberg out front. Content with a great chance. Snyder with a better save. Kaskasul following it up. Long shot after it. Aberg 
as they follow it back up the boards. Not going to get there. And through the middle, here's Smelzer heading out of the wide side. Sharangovich scores the empty netter. It's over 5 2. 50 seconds left to go. Four games they went on a run. And they're going to have to try and get back to this with a lot of folks out of the lineup for the Marlies that uh, find themselves in goal scoring position. McMaster toward the goal. The rebound comes out. Dusak puts it in the goal, but it is long after the horn goes. The final score here.